Hi everyone, Mark here for our daily devotional. As we come today to the beginning of the heart of the Sermon on the Mount, as Jesus gives us the first of six examples of how he does indeed fulfil the law and the prophets and bring in this righteousness he's been talking about that far exceeds that of the Pharisees. And so in Matthew 5, verse 21, Jesus says, You have heard that it was said to the people long ago, You shall not murder, and anyone who murders will be subject to judgment. But I tell you that anyone who is angry with a brother or sister will be subject to judgment. Over the past couple of devotionals, we've seen how the Pharisees thought that they could keep the law and so make themselves righteous before God. We've not murdered anyone, they would say. We've kept the sixth of the Ten Commandments. Well done, us. And here is Jesus saying, no, 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 you've missed the very heart of this commandment and what it was pointing you know, towards, not just the external action as heinous as murder is, but also the heart attitude of anger that so often leads to it. Any anger, any resentment towards a fellow human being is just as subject to judgment. You see, you and I, you know, probably not murdered anyone. But Jesus wants us to see just how serious anger is and this heart attitude which, if left unchecked, can cause real harm to our fellow human beings. So, for example, letting a root of bitterness set in such that you end up bad mouthing someone at church. Or perhaps feelings of resentment right now towards a colleague playing the political game at your expense amidst job furloughs and job insecurity. And so you end up gossiping about him behind their backs, plotting revenge. Do you ever find yourself losing it with your kids or with a spouse over the sort of slightest of transgressions? You know, feeling the pressure building up in lockdown right now and you, so you just lash out at them. Now, you and I, we may not have murdered anyone. But do we see just how serious this heart attitude of anger is and the real damage that it can cause to our fellow human beings? Now, please don't mishear Jesus at this point. He's not saying that all anger is wrong. If you've got a Bible with you or you've got it up on screen, you may have noticed footnote C say some manuscripts add the, the phrase without cause, getting angry without cause, because sometimes it is right to get angry at injustice, at evil, at sin. But what Jesus is referring to here is anger without cause. Any hatred, resentment, bitterness inside, in our hearts, towards our fellow human being, and especially towards a brother or sister in Christ. And Jesus says it has got to go. It is that serious. I'm placing it here in the same category as murder. So repent of it, confess it to me, come to me for forgiveness, come to me for power to change from it. Well, let me pray that for us now. Father God, we thank you very much for Jesus' teaching here on the sinfulness and seriousness of anger in our hearts. Sorry, Father, when we let roots of bitterness set in where we are harbouring resentment right now um, towards our fellow human beings. And we repent of it. We confess it to you. Thank you for forgiveness in Jesus Christ. And by your Holy Spirit, please give us the power to change and love our neighbour as ourselves and treat people rightly. We ask it for Jesus' sake. Amen.